seen them all across this country. Small towns along America's highways. They all have baseball fields, water towers, churches, and a corner market. And if you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? But never judge a book by its cover. Because they might all look the same. But the soul of the town lies in its people. Born in uh, Seminole Muni Municipal Hospital. Yeah. 64 years ago. Uh, I started out just uh, greenhorn out here, uh, working with old men that taught me the trade and the ins and outs and, and stuff, and I learned the old school. I worked for Hobby Lobby for eight and a half years. I traveled all over the United States building Hobby Lobby stores. 37 states I went through, over 200 stores. Here in my hometown, we have a Jasmine Moran Children's Museum. I was one of the first, or the first uh, people in the building. Demo did out, and uh, Turnkey did to the first part of it. And today it's uh, a place that's been visited by millions of people all over the world. Work hard, uh, uh, travel is, is a good experience, you know? There's a lot of places out there you'd like to live at, you know, but, you know, uh, don't ever forget who you are and where you come from. That was not nice, Mike. That was not nice. Good shot, big brother. I was born and raised in this town in 1955. I've seen a lot of things come, and I've seen a lot of things go. My grandpa was a peddler. He made his living off picking fruit and stuff on the halves. <laughs> then he set up his little panel wagon downtown and sell his fruit, and that's how they made their living. I think I was four or five or six years old. I was old enough to remember. <coughs> and party boy Floyd knew grandma and grandpa. <coughs> and they just robbed the, the Payton Bank in Payton, Oklahoma. Come in there in about a 29 or 32 Ford. I can't remember the model. And uh, told grandma they needed something to eat. Party boy did. So she went up there and she did, they lived on a fixed income. They didn't have no money. So she went in there and made them something to eat and tuck it down there to them. And party boy Floyd gave her a hundred dollar bill. Come out of the Payton Bank. And she said, uh, that's too much money, pretty boy. He said, no, Miss Lyle. You deserve more than that, but we didn't make a whole mo lot of money off that deal. So uh, this is your, this is what we want to pay you for feeding us and housing us up. She said, "I'm not housing you up. You stay, you stay down, staying down there in the bottom. That ain't my land." <coughs> so anyway, they stayed till about daylight, and then they packed up and left. Never seen them since. Next time you pass through a quaint, boring looking town, ask yourself what stories lie beneath the surface.